Ayan, we're live on Facebook. A cold, well, um, cold morning here in East Coast. Wow, may paganda. <laughs> and then, good evening, Philippines, and good afternoon, Middle East. And Ramadan, karim to our um all brothers and sisters na Muslim. Okay. So yes, um, welcome back to our IFNG Live. So now, hindi available si Admin Manuel. Busy siya. Eh, iniisip ko kasi baka nagsasawa na kayo sa mukha ko. <laughs> Nakabakasyon kasi ako kaya throughout this month, ako muna makikita ninyo. Anyway, so ang topic natin for today, for tonight is map listenings. So um, please don't forget to tag your friends and also uh, babatiin ko muna yung mga co-admits ko. Manuel Gladys na busy sa work and... Uh, Manuel and Marvin and Michelle. Okay. So, yes, let's uh, welcome back, Mami D. Mami D. Ah, wait. Thank you so si much. Nerisa, si Nerisa, friend ko to, ang KSA, nag-hello sa may Zoom. Congratulations, pumasaya ng IELTS. Ay, Nerisa, si Nerisa. Ah, magano ka, magsalita ka muna. Tudyante ko to, Nerisa. Ayan, hello, Ana. Yan. Nerisa, please turn on your mic and camera. Saan ka? Ayun. <laughs> ah, si Michelle pala na ando rito. Oh. Hi, Michelle. Ma'am Michelle. Risa. Nasaan ka na ni Risa? Hey, everyone. Working. Hi, Mother Dre. Hi, Sir Jeff. Sorry. Working. Ah, okay lang yon. <laughs> si Risa nawawala. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Hello. Yeah. Ah. Hello, Jeff. Yes. Nasaan ka na? Yes, you. Andito. Oh, wala ka bang camera? Congratulations. But I'm not prepared. <laughs> okay lang yun. Para ma-inspired natin yung mga nanonood. So sa mga nanonood, oh. have your friends. Para sa free lectures. Okay, congratulations, Nerisa. Paano ka nag-prepare? Thank you. Well, I invest in speaking practice with my speaking body from Philippines. So I invest my time to... To arrange with them. And then, uh, what else? I practice. Because I believe that learning should be done together with uh, practicing. Okay. Thank you so much, Nerisa. Looking forward to see you here in the US. So let's yes, be congratulations. Congratulations. Mama D. Okay, Mama D. Thank, thank you so much, much Sir Jeff. Thank you so much, Sir Jeff. Huwag ka mag-alala. Hindi sila magsasawa sa'yo na ikaw lagi nilang makikita. Hello, la silang choice. Diba? <laughs> so yes, thank you so much, Sir Jeff, for that. Okay, oh, wait. Isang... Oh, maghahanap din ako ng mga gustong mag-admin. Yung mga, mm, yes. alam mo yun, yung mga gustong tumulong sa mga <laughs> lahat ng gustong mag-IELTS. Okay. Correct. Okay, if you guys want to, if you guys want to become an admin of IFNG, okay, just message Sir Jeff, okay? Just message, Hi! Si Ma'am Gladys! Andiyan si Ma'am Gladys! <laughs> puro, ano to? Puro batian na lang? Wala nang lecture? Puro, wala nang <laughs> batian na lang tayo? tayo. <laughs> okay, guys. hello Facebook! <laughs> Hello, Ma'am Gladys. Welcome back. So, nagkakwento ko, Ma'am Gladys, kanina may nag-coding daw sa kanila. Ang dami daw gwapong pulis at saka firemen. Kung ako yun talaga, hey, kuya. ba? Diba? Bahala yun yung nagko-coding. Magpo-focus ako dun sa may firemen. <laughs> okay, so guys, yeah. By the way, welcome back to our discussion here at IFA, your IELTS Filipino Nurses Group. I am so delighted to be here again, teaching you guys on your IELTS preparation, specifically for the listening examinations. And tonight, we're going to be teaching you about the most confusing concept, okay, of the listening exam, which is the maps, okay? Mamaya, kung meron pa tayong time, siguro pwede pa natin idagdag yung ating, uh, what do you call this discussion when it comes to multiple choice, when it comes to listening, because that's one of the most difficult things that the students tend to encounter on their exp on their listening examination okay so yes for those of you guys who have just joined us here at ifng welcome this is a free discussion for all please tag your friends on facebook send them the link at zoom and of course you would also you can also share our live now so that your friends could actually join this important discussion that we're going to be doing for tonight okay wait long <laughs> Yeah, my body, sayang. Walang, ano ba yan, Ma'am Gladys? Nagko-coding, medyo ba? 
<laughs> so your mom Gladys is actually here. Okay, so let me just share my PowerPoint presentation to you guys. And of course, we're going to be using Elite Notes again tonight. Okay. <clears throat> All righty. So let's begin with our discussion here when it comes to your listening maps. Okay. Some people tend to underestimate the maps of the listening. However, guys, would you believe me if I tell you that good five points to seven points of the students uh, be, uh, are lost because of the maps. Totoo. Maraming estudyante ang nawawalan ng let's say five points or seven points because of two instructions in particular. You have the maps and you also have the multiple choice questions. Okay? So what's the reason behind is that the maps sometimes the directions are a little bit confusing. So the students tend not to get uh, what I call this, the instructions of the map or they tend to get lost. And tonight, I'm going to teach you not to get lost. Okay? So before we begin, I am pleased to meet you. My name is Purificacion Dalisay. Sorry. <laughs> I am pleased to meet you. My name is Clint Joseph Tyler, the founder and master lecturer of Elite Intellect IELTS OET NCLEX and NMCCBT Specialist PH. I am an IELTS expert for the past 12 years, also known as your Mama Dragon, Mother Dragon, Mommy D, Mama D. Latang uri ng D, basta malaking D. Okay, that's me. Okay, half Filipino, half exotic being. <laughs> Ay, naka-white ako ngayon. Ano ka ba, Ma'am Gladys? Kakambal ni Cardo Dalisa. May pagka-action star kaya ako. <laughs> Okay, guys. So, before we begin, okay, let me teach you a secret to success first, okay? Look at this one. If Philippians 4.13 is our favorite, Philippians 4.19 is another other favorite, okay? And my God will meet all your needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus, okay? A lot of students, they think that life happens... Um, Life happens naturally. Well, guys, one thing that I would want you guys to remember is that life happens with faith, okay? Riches, everything, glory, everything. It doesn't belong to people. It belongs to God, okay? That's one thing that you would need to remember. And if you're practicing that with your faith, know that the Lord will always honor you, okay? So that is from Philippians 4 verse 19. Okay, guys, so... Saying hello from the Philippines, let's begin with our discussion for tonight, okay? Magingin nga po yung mga viewers natin sa Facebook, <clears throat> okay? Our viewers on Facebook, please magingay po, parang antahimik naman yata. Kumusta po kayo ngayon? Anong balita sa inyo? <laughs> Ayan na naman, nag-uumpisa na naman si Mama D. Okay guys, so... <clears throat> Okay, so we are going to be using Elite Notes again tonight. So if you guys would want to get a copy of this one, if you are if you are already a member of IFNG and you belong to the group chats of IFNG, you will be getting a copy of our Elite Notes for tonight, which is the noting form that I will be writing down, okay? But if you're not yet a member and if it's your first time to join our live discussion for tonight here at IELTS Philippine Nurses Group, okay, just send a message to the admins of IFNG later on, okay, after this discussion, and they will be for adding you to the group chat, uh, and they will be, uh, what do you call this, they will be, <clears throat> uh, what do you call this, sending you guys the PDF version of our Elite Notes for tonight, okay? So, yung PowerPoint ko hanggang dyan lang kasi mag Elite Notes na po tayo, okay? Let me now share to you my screen as regards our discussion, okay? So, we're going to have interactive practices tonight, okay? First is I'm going to be the one pretending to be the recording. And then after that, we will go to the actual recording, okay, with which I'm going to be sharing to you the instruction, okay, as well as, of course, the audio of the MAPS recording itself. Okay, so first things first, what makes MAPS difficult? Okay, let's talk about that, okay? Ano nga ba <clears throat> ang nagpapahirap when it comes to the MAPS of listening? Okay, first things first, guys, is that MAPS become difficult because the students are unfamiliar with directions, okay? Okay, maps are difficult because the students are unfamiliar with directions, okay? So if you are a student and you're taking an examination on the listening and you're very much unfamiliar with the perspective directions, as you would like to call it when it comes to the maps, then you're most likely you're going to be having a difficult time, okay? Medyo mahihirapan talaga tayo when it comes to the listening. Later on, I will teach you perspective directions. Believe me, it works like magic, okay? You will know the perspective directions of the recording and your expected perspective directions, okay? Another thing that makes maps difficult is that the students are not following through.
Okay. <clears throat> All right. So, sir, what do you mean by not following through? Okay. When we say not following through, is that you're actually just trying to wait for something to be mentioned when it comes to your map. But then again, once you go back, it's actually uh, it's actually more confusing. Diba? So guys, one thing that I would want you to remember is that when we are on the maps of the IELTS listening, you would need to follow through the entire map itself. Okay? So let me teach you some tricks, okay, that you should be doing for you to ensure that your maps are going to be easier for you. Okay? Number one. Okay, number one tip when it comes to the maps for listening is the direction of the map is your direction too. Okay, the direction of the map okay, is the same as your direction. Okay, so some students, they tend to reverse it, di ba? Kapag ka sinabi ng map na left, they go to the right. No, that's not the case, okay? If the map says to your left, then automatically that is on your left hand, okay? And when the map says it's on your right, then automatically it's on your right. When the map says it's in front of you, so pretend that the paper that's in front of you right now, the, the, the direction is in front of you. And if the map says behind you, then of course it's the same, okay? The perspective directions matter on the exam, okay? Meaning, okay, the left of the map is your left too. Okay, left of the map is your left too. Okay, I will teach you a trick, okay? This is what I call the perspective directions, okay? Very much useful when you are dealing with maps on the examination. Okay, so sir, what are perspective directions? Okay, let me draw something, okay? Perspective directions okay so first if you're taking down notes right now you can do that too but don't you worry i'll be sending you guys a copy of this one okay again to get a copy of our lecture for tonight you may uh you may send a message to the admins of ifng so that they will be able to add you to the group chat of ielts filipino nurses group they will be set forwarding the pdf version of this one later on after this discussion okay so perspective directions is quite easy my children okay first things first is you're going to Draw across. Okay, and then two diagonal lines that are crossing one another. Okay, so guys, your perspective directions are always applicable on your test, okay? The west is always on your left hand. Okay? Lagi yung tatandaan. If you're watching this, where's your left hand? Okay? Yeah, Sir Jeff said, like the Facebook page of, uh, what do you call this, IFNG, and send them a message so that they could actually give you a copy of our lecture for today. Okay? So, <clears throat> where's your left hand? This is my left hand right here. Okay? Technically, this is my left hand right here, guys. Okay? So, my left hand is this one. So, the left hand is always the west. Okay? Tandaan ang left hand po natin, west. Your right hand is the east. Okay? Something on top of you or in front of you, that is the north. Okay? Something on top, again, something on top of you or something that is in front of you, that is the north. Okay? So, this is always the north, and then this is the south, okay? The south is either below you or behind you. That is the south, okay? And then you're going to be combining these perspective directions together, okay? So you do have your northeast, okay? Your southeast, your southwest, and of course, your north. West, okay? Napakasimple lang pong tandaan, okay? Tandaan lang, left hand, west. Okay, right hand, <clears throat> sorry, my crackles. Okay, right hand, east. Okay, on top, that is the north. Okay, and below, that is the south, okay? 
All right. And then you're going to be combining them together with diagonal lines no, for you to make sure that you are, uh, what do you call this? Okay, hold on, guys. Let me just check this one. Bakit gumanin yung ano ko? Wait long. When I open something, it shows here. Ah, there you go. That's better. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so yeah, look at that. If that is your left hand, guys, that is always the west. Your right hand is the east. If on top of you is the north. Below you is the south. Okay? So you know that when something... Labas lang po a catch. Need na labas. Oh, I miss you, Mom Gladys. Bye-bye. Ingat. Okay, so one thing that you would need to remember is that if... Okay, the recording said, okay... On the northwestern part of the town, okay? Halimbawa, northwestern part of the town, okay? So you know that you would need to go this way if that is the northwestern part of the town. And then if you head to the east, you know that you would need to go this way, no? Perspective directions always work on the examination, guys. So you have to remember your west is always your left hand. Your east is your right hand. Something on top of you is the north. Something below you is the south, okay? And then diagonal lines, northwest. Diagonal, di diagonal line upright, uh, northeast. Diagonal line down, that's southeast. And then diagonal line down, um, left hand, that's southwest, okay? So lagi yung tatandaan yan. Perspective directions could actually help you on the exam, okay? Later on, I will be giving you exercises, guys, okay, for you to see, okay, for you to see uh, what you call this, uh, for us to apply, okay, the perspective directions of our discussion, okay? All right, so perspective directions. What else? When you are on the listening, okay, and the instruction is maps, okay, one thing to remember is to put yourself inside the map. Okay, you would need to put yourself inside the map, okay? So if the map says on to your left, okay? So ibig sabihin nasa kaliwa mo siya. On, now, if you're going to look to your right, okay, ibig sabihin nasa kanan mo siya. Now, right in front of you, straight ahead. So it means that you're just going to go straight ahead and follow the trail of the map itself. Which brings me to my next tip, okay? Another thing to remember is to follow the trail of the maps. Okay, because if you're not going to do that, guys, most likely you will get lost on the exam, okay? Now, <clears throat> there are words that I always tell my students to be sensitive about, okay? Ano ba yung mga words to be sensitive about, okay? Let's take a look at this one. Okay, let's talk about words. Okay, to listen to in the recording, okay? <clears throat> ano yung mga words na kailangan nating pakinggan so recording ng maps, okay, when it comes to your listening. First things first, um, words that signifies direction, okay? Again, words that signifies directions, okay? Mga direksyon, yung mga kapag ka wala ka pang direksyon, eh... Pakinggan mo yung mga words na to anak para magkaroon ka. ba? Malay mo yun lang. Kailangan mo para magkajowa ka na talaga. ba? Direction. <laughs> Sino po dito ang gusto ng magkajowa? Please type na all. N-A-O-L. <laughs> Ayan na. Lilitaw na yung mga single. Come on guys, again. Sino po dito ang gusto ng magkajowa? Please type na all. <laughs> Okay, oh, sorry, sorry. There's an update on Facebook. That's why I cannot see the participants here, the comments of the participants. Wait, let me just greet the people on Facebook, okay? Let me just say hello to the people on Facebook while you're typing na all right there. <laughs> Ay, nako. Tapos after ng na all, guys, would you please type how long have you been single, you know? <laughs> Para masaya, di ba? Hindi puro aral. Chika-chika muna tayo. Okay. Hello, Dorothy. Okay, Virgil. Sunny. Uh, Sunny Joso Atilano. Okay, Christine. Anian. Victoria Ramones. Janelin. Okay, Alburn. San Miguel. Ati Genji. Tajina Ahmed. 
Okay, happy Ramadan, everyone. And of course, Jerlene uh, is watching. And of course, Nadine Christine. Okay, type na all if you are single. Okay, okay. Tang kita po ang mga single dito. <laughs> A pet charms, si Swiss Dragon, <laughs> si Charles, ano, pahanap ng jowa, Mama D. Okay, G, na all. Sige, iPhone is si, na all from my mother's wombs. Ay, NBSB. Uh, what do you call this? No boyfriend since, since ano, since birth. <laughs> Hello Franklin, Dorothy na all, Marian na all din, 'di ba? Na all may jowa, 'di ba? Kapag ka walang jowa, hanapin ang direksyon, mag-map sa listening. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, what are the words? Okay, that signify um directions, okay? Well, of course, you do have what we call left, okay? Yung mga simple directions na yan, left. Okay, right. Straight ahead. Far end. <clears throat> just by. Okay, mga anak, pag sinabing just by, ibig sabihin na dadaanan. Okay, let's say just by the sea or just by the beachfront. Let's say this is the beachfront right here. So it's just by. Okay, it's just by right there. Okay, what else? Parallel to. Of course, you also have your east, west, north, south. Hello, Maria Pilar. Okay, east, west, north, south. Yung mga yan, no? Very much important when you are on the listening exam, okay? What else? In front of? At the back of? Yung mga yan, no? At the back of, ano pa? Ito, road curve. Road curve, ibig sabihin, merong pa ganon. Okay, what else? Bend. Or a road bend or a U-bend. Sometimes it's called a U-bend, no? Yung mga yan. So you would need to listen to that too. Ano pa? Roundabout. Diba? Ito, madaming nadadali tong roundabout na to. Kapag kasi nabing roundabout, paikot mga anak. Okay? Round about. Okay? Ano pa? Yung mga words na kailangan natin pakinggan. We'd also need to listen to words like, uh, what do you call this? Um, <clears throat> uh, ano tawag dito? Pass by. Hello, JC! Okay, pass by yung mga yan. Okay? <clears throat> Across. And corner off. Okay? I'll give you an example of corner off. No? Maraming estudyante ang nalilito sa corner off. Okay, let's say you have uh, two streets right here. Okay? You have this one right here. Okay? And then you do have another one, another street right here. Okay. Let's say the name of this street is, uh, let's say, Dalisay Street. Okay, and then the other street is Marites Street. Okay, now, kapag ka ganyan mga anak, no? <clears throat> If this happens, okay? You just have to listen to upper corner or lower corner, okay? Let's say yung Marites Street ay nagko-continue dito. Okay, so you would need to listen to upper corner or lower corner, right or left. Okay, upper right, lower la, uh, lo, lower right. Okay, yeah, no? Okay, so halimbawa, sinabi ng recording mga anak ganito. Okay? On the upper right corner, okay, so let's say you have uh, two, uh, what do you call this, two locations right here. Okay, let's say you have two locations right here. I want you to find the cafe and uh, I want you to label number one and number two. Okay, kung ano yung number one and number two. Okay, I'm going to pretend to be the recording. <clears throat> Now, there are two streets on campus. You do have the first street or the main road, which is called the Lisai Street. The Lisai Street. 
The next one is what we call Marita Street, which goes straight further to the north of the campus. On the upper right corner is the bookshop. And if you're going to be looking at the lower left corner of Dalisai and Maritis, that is the cafe. Mm. Okay, mga anak, what is number one? Ano yung number one? Come on, come on, come on. Let's do this. It's the bookshop. There you go. Now, what about the lower left corner of the Lisai and Maritis Street? That is the cafe. So as you can see, guys, it's actually quite easy to recognize directions as long as you're listening to the recording. That is the end of section two. You now have half a minute to slap your seatmate. Pinampal yung katabi. Hindi ba? Siguro kung ganito yung instruction sa exam, ang tawa ko siguro, no? Yung mga corner corner, yung pangalan ng street na Lisay, tapos yung isa, Marites. <laughs> O kaya si Maritech, sarap naman yan, Sir Jeff. Ano ba yan? May pa-sandwich? Alam mo, sa Amerika talaga, sandwich na kinakain nila. Okay. Hello, Janet! There we go. Okay, so look at that. No, be careful with upper corner, lower corner, corner. Okay, it's actually quite important too. Okay, now. What else? I would want you guys to also listen to words which signifies proximity. Okay? When we say proximity, gano kalapit, gano kalayo. Okay? Gano kalapit o gano kalayo sa iyo yung feelings niya. <laughs> okay. So, words which that signifies Okay, proximity. Okay, you would need to listen to words that signifies proximity on the examination. Okay, so what are these words? Okay, usually we have uh, near, <clears throat> okay, far, wherever you are. Chari. <laughs> okay, near, far, okay, just beside. Next to. Okay, distant to slap the invigilator. You now have half a minute to slap the invigilator. Charing. Okay, distant to. Proximal to. Ibig sabihin malapit lang. Parallel to. In front of. Okay, listen to these words, okay? Because they are pretty much important on the examination, okay? Near, far, just beside, next to, distant to, proximal to, parallel to, in front of, yung mga yan, no? Behind. <clears throat> And you also have adjacent to. Okay, sir, how's adjacent to, okay? Adjacent to could be two things, okay? Let's talk about this one. Adjacent to could be Two things, okay? Adjacent to number one is it's right across, okay? Pupwede right across yan, especially if that is the adjacent corner, okay? And the other one is it forms a diagonal line. Okay, so let's go back to our example earlier of the Lisai Street and Marita Street right here. Okay, so let's say if you're going to be listening to, listening to the recording, um, the bookshop is adjacent to the cafe. Okay, the bookshop is adjacent to the cafe because they are on adjacent corners. Diba? Ang corner na ito ay magkatapat. Yan, no? So tandaan, two things, okay? Adjacent to could be right across, okay? Dumiretso ka lang. Tumawid ka lang, that could be adjacent to. Or it could be a diagonal line is being formed that is adjacent to. The problem with the, with the students sometimes is that when they hear the word adjacent to, they're quite unfamiliar on what that meant. Okay? So adjacent to, hala, adjacent? Ano ba yung adjacent angle? Ano ba ang itsura ng adjacent angle at saka ng acute angle, mga anak? Ano yung itsura? Okay, what does the adjacent angle look like? What does the par what does the parallel angle look like? What does the 90 degree angle look like? Diba? An acute angle is just like that. An adjacent angle is 
Like that. Diba? So, ganun. Adjacent to. It forms a slanted line. Wow, Sir Joseph. Geometry. Siguro magaling ka sa geometry nung high school tsaka college. No. <laughs> I hate geometry. I hate math in particular. Masyado naman yung word na hate. Pwede namang loathe. I loathe math in particular. <laughs> Specifically, algebra, calculus, yung mga yan, di ba? Tapos yung algebra. Ilang uring algebra ba kailangan pag-aralan natin? Di ba? Eh, ngayon yung IELTS na magpapahirap sa inyo, hindi naman algebra, di ba? Oh. <laughs> sabihin yung sabihin yung pinapahirapan kayo ng algebra ngayon. Di ba ay ayaw sa nagpapahirap sa inyo. <laughs> Di ba? Ano to? Pag pumunta ka sa US, pagpasok mo sa airport, mag algebra exam ka pa, ay wala na makakapag-US pag ganun. <laughs> Imaginein mo kung ganun yung custom sa US. <laughs> Bago ka makapasok, uh, you would need to take the algebra test first. Oh, ano to? Entrance exam to the US. <laughs> Diba? So you would need to listen to these words, guys, okay? You would need to listen to words which signifies proximity. You would need to listen to words which signifies directions on the maps themselves, okay? So I would show you a map, okay? Doon muna tayo sa basic muna tayo, guys, okay? Let's go to the basic map first, okay? I'll show you a basic map, okay? And I would be pretending to be the recording here, Okay, and then after that, guys, okay, we're going to be answering this one. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Let's say, let's pretend this is elite university. Wow, so shall in Jesus' name. Diba? Okay, so on the actual examination, you now have 30, uh, you know, have 30 seconds to study your, uh, your image and your 30 seconds starts now. Okay, let's study the map. All right. Ready? If you're ready, please type one. Well, actually, on the exam, you don't have a choice. Okay? All right. So let's label number one, two, three, four, and five. Okay? <clears throat> Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the U Elite University. My name is Joseph, and I will be guiding you tonight with the layout of the campus. Well, you are currently here at the information center. Right next to us is the cafe. If you're going to be looking at the map, across the cafe is the bookshop. There, you may actually purchase books that would be helpful for your studies. At the upper left corner of Cambridge and Oxford Street, you're going to be seeing the teacher's lounge. If you have a question with your professors or your interlocutors, you may actually visit them there. Now, let's follow the trail of Oxford Street, shall we? Going to the north of Oxford Street, you're going to see a theater. Theater A is where we actually hold all our classes for the different types of events here at Elite University. Well, from the theater, the biggest building that you see on the right, that is the gymnasium. If we have some sporting events here at campus, this is where we actually do it. Now, let's go back to the lower right corner of Cambridge Avenue and Oxford Street. You're going to see two more buildings there. The first building, specifically on the lower corner of Cambridge Avenue and Oxford, that is, <clears throat> that is the literature room. If you're going to be studying there, all of the things and materials will be for free. And of course, the last building just near the octagon, oh, just near the just near the just near the oval, that is our projection room. Okay. Okay, so are there any more questions? That is the end of section two. You now have half a minute to stab your seatmate. Okay, guys, so <clears throat> were we able to get the answers? I hope you were able to get the answers because I just made it up. <laughs> okay, number one, what did the recording say? You are currently here at the, you are currently here at the, uh, what do you call this? <clears throat> You're currently here at the, 
orientation room. And right beside the orientation room is the cafe. Right across the cafe is the bookshop. Okay, very good. All right, so this is the bookshop. Okay, all right. Now, what's number two, guys? Number two. Okay, this is the teacher's lounge. Okay, be careful with apostrophe, mga anak. Okay, teachers, possessive. Okay, so kailangan yan ay teacher's room. Ay, lounge. Okay, that's the teacher's lounge. Okay, what's number three? Number three. <clears throat> number three, that's the literature room. Number three is the literature room. Okay, very good. Okay, what about number four? Number four is the gymnasium. Okay, very good. Okay, and what's number five? Number five is the projection room. Okay, so look at that, guys. Okay, when you are on the examination, one thing to remember is for you to follow through the entire map itself. Because if you're not following one, okay, then most likely you will get lost. Okay, one more. One more practice. You made a challenging bet. Okay, who here likes another practice here? You made a challenging. Ako, I want. Okay, let's insert another image right here. Okay, hold on. Ay, eto. Bet na bet ko to. Okay. <clears throat> so, there are also maps that you might encounter which are floor plans. Okay, like this one. This is an example of a floor plan. Okay, sometimes they were they will actually show you a floor plan on the examination and you would need to label it. Okay, so you would need 11 answers here. Okay, let's number this one. 1 to 11. Okay, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, ready? You now have 30 seconds to look at questions 1 to 11. <clears throat> now turn to section two. Section two, you will hear a talk regarding the new elite intellect. You're going to have some time to look at questions one to 11, but please don't look at your seatmate's papers. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> ready? Kunwari si Mom Tanya po. Ganito magsalita si Mom Tanya nyo Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the new Elite Intellect office. My name is Tanya Schuller, and I will be guiding you all throughout your journey here. Let's start, shall we? We are currently here at the main entrance. Right in front of us, you're going to be seeing two desks. The first desk is the inquiry area. If you have any questions at all regarding your IELTS preparation, you may inquire there. The other desk on your right is the enrollment is the enrollment table. When you are ready to enroll, just talk to our officer there at the enrollment table. They are going to be giving you lots of materials that could help you when it comes to your preparation for the IELTS, as well as, of course, your free iPads. Let's not forget that. Oh! <laughs> well, let's, let's go back to the main entrance. If you're going to be looking at the room to your left, that is what we call the orientation room. The students who are new to the IELTS world will be oriented there for the first week, and they're going to be learning the basic concepts on that room. Next to that room, onto the far exit to the left, is what we call the, the beginner's area. All students who are at band 5.0 to 6.0 learn their lessons there. Let's not forget the elephant in the room. There is a room behind the information and the enrollment areas. That is the intermediate room. Students who are at band 7.0 and 7.5 study there. Let's go back again to the main entrance, shall we? If you're going to be looking at the room on your right, the smaller room, that is the lecturer's lounge. This is where you can find your lecturers and your coaches all the time. And of course, let's not forget 
The next room to that is the advanced room. If you are a student who is already at band 7.5 and above, this is where you're going to con this, this is where we're going to conduct your classes. Okay, now as we walk straight forward, you're going to be seeing two fire exits, one on your left and one on your right. There are two corner offices. Let's start with the first one on your left. Well, that room is actually quite unique because there are two rooms in that corner office. The first room on the, court, on the left corner is the library. You may use materials there for your studies on, the IELTS, on your IELTS preparation. And the, the corner room inside the library is the founder's office. If you have any question with our founder, you may feel free to ask him inside his office. You're going to be seeing tables and chairs as well, almost in between the far exits. The tables and chairs, these are our, this is our computer delivered area. If you are going to be practicing for your computer delivered IELTS test, you may actually exercise here. And lastly, the corner office to your right is the coaching room. Okay, so do we have any more further questions? That is the end of section two. You now have half a minute to stab your seatbelt. Okay, guys, we were able to get the answer for this one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, what is the first? What is the first? Uh, what do you call this? What is the first area right there that was mentioned? Okay, it is the enrollment at uh, the inquiry area. Okay, now, on the second one, ano yung una niyang sinabi? Okay, it's the enrollment table. Enrollment table, okay? It's a table, okay? Be careful with that. Specifics, okay, of the recording in itself. This is the enrollment table. Okay, what about number three? What is number three? Orientation room. Very good. Okay, this is the orientation room. Okay, now, <clears throat> number four. What's number four, guys? Number four, that is the beginner's area. Don't forget apostrophe S, okay? This is the beginner's area. Sir, I have a question. What if I misspelled the word beginner's? Is that correct? No. Unfortunately, my love, it would be considered as wrong. Okay. Number four, this one is the beginner's area. Okay. Now, what about number five? Number five, guys. Number five is the lecturer's lounge. Okay. Number six, what's number six? Advanced room, very good. Be careful with the word advanced. Kailangan po meron yang ED for us to be grammatically correct, okay? Advanced room. Okay, number seven, what's number seven, guys? Intermediate room. Sir, wala namang sinabing ano dun eh. Yeah, uh, there's no apostrophe S on that one. So it would be called the intermediate room. Okay, number eight. What's number eight? Library. Okay, you may answer the library or library. It depends on the word limit. In this case, the word limit is two or three words. So pupwedeng li the library. Number nine is the founder's office. Okay, there we go. Number 10, what's number 10? Coaching room, very good. And lastly, what's number 11? Tables and chairs, computer delivered area. There you go, computer delivered area.
Okay, so look at that, right? When you are doing maps on the examination, it's actually easy for you not to get lost as long as you are following, no? Kelly Sir Joseph, that's actually easy because you are slow. Maybe you are slow with saying your answers when it comes to the map. Later on, I will be giving you an exercise which is actually quite fast and of course an actual recording. We're going to be doing it together. Gagawin natin yan ng magkakasama, okay? But before that, guys, let me just promote again okay commercial muna tayo real quick okay just for two minutes okay discount 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 and more discount okay so guys we are happy to announce again that we are going to be giving exclusive discounts for the students of ifng who are viewing this right now for our programs at elite intellect you may choose elite focus sure pass or elite extra if you would want to please message mom tanya to know the difference between the three programs but here it's systematic and convenient review a program designed for in international and domestic students, unlimited review for life, unlimited one-on-one -on -one coaching, unlimited assessment and mock examinations, flexible schedule with recorded discussions. We do actually have two batches now, the morning batch, which is 1 p.m. PHT, and the other one is 11 p.m. PHT. Okay, free preparation book and writing compilation, the first to deliver computer-delivered mock examinations in the Philippines, free pre-assessment and final assessment, and of course, free Free, free mentoring with yours truly, Mama D. Okay, so sir, how much is the discount right now that you're going to be giving at IFNG viewers? Well, of course, we are still giving away 2,500 discount to all the viewers of IFNG, which is an exclusive IFNG discount if you would want to enroll for the programs of Elite Intellect. So instead of paying 7,500, pay only 4,999 if you are a solo student. And sir, what if I'm a group? Let's say I have three friends with me who would want to enroll at Elite intellect then if you are a group of three and above then pay only 3999 per student instead of 7500 now that my dear students is a discount that we are happy to give you here at ifng as a way for us to say thank you for the love and support here at elite intellect nine okay so sir i would want to inquire for the programs of elite intellect elite focus elite extra or elite sure pass so where can i inquire okay so basic oh by the way guys elite um nplex batch 23 promote ko lang to ha we are now accepting enrollees for our NCLEX Batch 23. So this is NCLEX plus IELTS Unlimited Review, live and recorded discussions, flexible, scan free NCLEX preparation books and materials, free nursing mentoring, free one-on-one -on -one, um, coaching and on the NCLEX finals, okay? And uh, what do you call this? We're save 17,000 all in discount. This is serious because instead of paying 25,000, pay only 7,999 for our NCLEX review here at Elite Intellect. My free IELTS review na po yan. Okay, all in one na yan. 7,999 kasama na yung IELTS. So this is exclusive for IFNG viewers only. Okay, so whether you're enrolling for the 4,999, 3,999 for the group or 7,999 for the NCLEX message our Facebook page, you may find us on Facebook. Just type Elite Intellect 9.0 Oh, or <clears throat> send a message on our WhatsApp and um, let's have a code IFNG Live. Okay, our promo code would be IFNG Live for the exclusive discounts here at IFNG. Okay, you may <clears throat> message our Facebook page here. Okay, you may you may message our Facebook page here. Okay, on the chat box of uh, Zoom and of course on the comment section of. Elite, uh, on the comment section of our live discussion for tonight. Okay, so I'll see you in class very, very soon, my children. Thank you so much. And of course, message Mom Tanya right now. Okay, so before we go back, okay, let me just reshare my screen. Okay, I think we have a question here. Okay. Sir, um, I would like to clarify if my understanding, is it possible that the directions are not in sequence? What I mean to say, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes there are IELTS, uh, what do you call this, listening tests, okay? Or sometimes on the actual exam, they're not going to be following the sequence, okay? Specifically to confuse the students on the exam, okay? Now, before we move on to our practice test right now, okay, that we're going to be doing together, the difficult one and the actual recording, let me just call on Swiss Dragon, Casey, Casey. Hello, Casey, or Ati Genji, if Ati Genji is available. Hello. Hello, Mama D, I'm here. Okay, there you go, Casey. So, Casey, could you please give some tips to your brothers and sisters when it comes to handling maps on the listening? Okay, first and foremost, you have to differentiate. Oh, so, is my video, am I sharing my video right now? Okay, I think everyone can see me. First and foremost, you have to differentiate active listening and passive listening. So 
which are you? Which are you, um, which from the two you're supposed to be? So you should be on the active listening part. Um, because if we are an active listener, so we would be able to you know dissect and distinguish the details that we need to have or we need to rather the details that we need in order for us to answer the questions in the map part of the listening exam. And also practice your listening every day by listening to English, you know, from a day-to-day -day basis in everyday life. And another thing, what I can add is, um, do your Mac exam every Saturday, don't skip that. Because if you uh, skip your exam every Saturday, then you would, you know, lose the opportunity to improve because you are procrastinating. So I suppose because Mamadi is explaining almost everything with, with, with regards to map. So what I can share now is practical tips in order for you to improve. So practice daily because, you know, um, perfection is not achievable, but if you practice every day, then you can achieve excellence rather. So that's all. Uh, may I now give the floor to my sister dragon, Mom Genji. I would just like to say hello, everyone. Hi, Mama D. Hi, Sir Jeff. Hello. And everybody here in Zoom and 141 in uh, FB and how many here in Zoom? 74 Zoom participants. So just, I'm just saying hello because Kaser, Casey was able to say everything. Mama D has already said uh, the, uh, during the lecture, I cannot say anymore. <laughs> Any, anything yeah, that I just keep on practicing, guys. Yeah, okay. so it's really daunting whenever Mama D asks us to give details and advices, but after all, so what is there left for us to say? <laughs> <laughs> diba? Ganon. Diba? Nang bibigla dapat yung inay ninyo. Thank you so much, Casey and Ate Genji. Yan. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Casey, for that for the tips. Yeah, okay. Um, the learning would actually be useless, guys, if you're not going to be applying it. Believe me. Kaya mamaya, after this, okay, after this discussion, please, okay, find a, a listening test that has, what they call this, maps, okay? Lahat ng may maps na makikita nyo, hanapin ninyo lahat, do that, okay? For you to get used to it. Thank you so much, Swiss Dragon right there. O, ba? Ang kalmado niya magsalita. <laughs> okay, now... Let's take a look at the next one. Ooh, I like this. Likey, likey. Okay. All righty, guys. Okay. So let's have a look, see at this one. Okay. So earlier I did the slow paced ones, right? Uh, that was the slow paced discussions right there earlier. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to try to go a little bit faster. Okay. And see if you're going to be getting the answers for this one okay so you now have 30 seconds to study the map right here and your 30 seconds starts now guys yeah, sorry hey papaka zoom out ko siya ng very light kasi medyo malaki yata yung <laughs> yung image that and the image is actually quite big okay so you have to answer numbers one to nine find the information center the pool the beach towels, food and drink, spa, cafe, souvenir shop, accommodation huts, and bike rentals. Ready? Are we ready? Okay, let's go. <clears throat> Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Joseph and I will be guiding you here all throughout our journey and of course all through your vacation here at the beach club. Well, most of you I know love to go to the beach. Well, as you can see here, there's a familiar platform that I will be showing you. You're going to be seeing the map of the entire beach club. We have three gates here. You have the west gate, south gate, and of course the east gate. Okay, so let's start with the first one. The information center could be seen in the middle of the roundabout. Well, if you have any questions at all when it comes to different types of activities here, then you may find it there. Again, the information center is in the middle of the roundabout. Well, 
Next one is the pool. It's actually quite easy to find the pool. It's a big structure. Just go towards the east via Sailors Avenue. And if you look to your left, that is the pool. Right next to the pool is the beach towels. That is in the corner of Mermaid Street and Marina Road. Well, the lower corner per se. Now, what about the spa? Well, it's quite easy to find the spa too. Since we are already here on Marina Road, the spa is the big building on to your left. Next to the spa is the cafe. It's quite easy to notice the cafe because it is in between the souvenir shop and of course the spa. Now, what about the accommodation huts? Well, it's quite easy to find it too. Just go towards Sailors Avenue and you're going to see three huts there. These are your accommodation huts. And lastly, the bike rentals. If you're going to be seeing a bend on the street, that is the bike rentals. Okay, so I hope that all of you enjoy the things that you're going to be doing. That is the end of section two. You now have half a minute to check your work. Okay, guys, were we able to get the answers for this one? <laughs> OMG, Mama D, ang bilis, nakakaloka. Merong nawawala, wala nang naisulat, sabi ni Sir Jeff. <laughs> On the actual exam, ganyan, mga anak, okay? One thing that you would need to remember on the actual test, no? On the actual test, yes, sunod-sunod ang pagkakasabi nila because they try to compress it to, let's say, 1 minute and 30 seconds of a recording, okay? So, where's the information center? The information center is in the middle of the roundabout, so that is letter A. Very good. Okay, this is the information center okay what about the pool where is the pool the pool is on to your sailors avenue looking at the left okay that's letter b very good okay beach towels where's beach towels it's on the corner of marina road and mermaid street okay that's letter c okay what about food and drinks food and drinks uh, yata tong food and drinks Masabi ko ba tong food and drinks? Wala, no? <laughs> parang, parang bumagtaw na ako sa spa agad, okay? Pero yung food and drinks sana, ayun, no? Tabi ng beach shore. Okay, so that's letter D. Okay, <clears throat> where's the spa? Where's the spa? Where is the spa? The spa is letter E. Okay, very good. Okay, what about the cafe? The cafe is letter F. Good job. Now, where's the souvenir shop? Souvenir shop is letter G. Okay. Have you noticed on this part when she said the spa, uh, the spa is actually quite, uh, the, the cafe is actually quite easy to see. It's in between the souvenir shop and the spa. Okay. So, sinabi niya agad na souvenir shop yung letter G, okay? And on the examination, yes, it happens, okay? It happens that way. The recording will actually say one thing after the other, and then they, they will try to confuse you, okay? Accommodation huts, accommodation huts, guys, where are the accommodation huts? You are going to see three huts there. Letter H, okay, good job. Good job, okay? And the bike rentals, it's on the curb or the bend, Letter I. Okay, good job, guys. No? Okay. <clears throat> See, look at that. If you were able to survive that map right there, which is actually quite fast, you can survive the IELTS uh, listening maps. Okay? Now, let me show you now the actual maps of the exam. Okay? Tignan natin to. Let's answer it together and then let's rationalize afterwards. Okay? Let me insert the map right here. <clears throat> Now, <clears throat> you might have answered this before, but we're going to be rationalizing on this one. <laughs> Sabi ni Christian, Sir, nakakaloka yung bilis ya. Diba? Medyo mabilis siya. Okay? Medyo mabilis siya mga anak. Okay? So don't you worry about that. Mas mabilis tong isa na to, tong kasunod. Okay? Ready? Okay, we're going to be answering Minster Park. Okay? So let me play the recording. 
Okay, you would need to find the statue of Diane Gosford, the wooden sculptures, the playground, the maze, the tennis courts, and the fitness area. Okay, let me share to you the recording right now. Hala, may recording na. Ito na. <laughs> let me share to you the recording now, guys. If you can hear the recording once I play it, please type one onto your chat box pagka play. Okay, all right. So I'm playing it now. Before you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time to look at questions 15 to 20. Now listen and answer questions 15 to 20. OK, let me tell you about some of the changes that have been made and some things that have been retained. If you look at this map, you'll see the familiar outline of the park with the river forming the northern boundary and a gate in each of the other three walls. The statue of Diane Gosforth has been moved. It used to be close to the south gate, but it's now immediately to the north of the lily pond, almost in the centre of the park, which makes it much more visible. There's a new area of wooden sculptures, which are on the riverbank, where the path from the east gate makes a sharp bend. There are two areas that are particularly intended for children. The playground has been enlarged and improved, and that's between the river and the path that leads from the pond to the river. Then there's a new maze, a circular series of paths separated by low hedges. That's near the west gate. You go north Okay, hold on, guys. Bloopers, 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 bloopers. Uh, don't we have audio at Zoom? Walang audio, guys. May audio sa Facebook. Nawalan ba ng audio po? Meron naman po. Ah, meron, meron. Okay. Ayan. Diyos ko, nagpanik na ba na po? Nawala na walang... signal. <laughs> Ay, nawala na signal. Kaya na po. Okay, bloopers. O, oh, sa exam, kapag ka nawala ng audio, required yung mga invigilators nyo na ulitin yung recording. Ang swerte naman. Nakakainis. Okay, hold on. Wait, guys. Okay, let's go back. Before you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time to look at questions 15 to 20. Now listen and answer questions 15 to 20. OK, let me tell you about some of the changes that have been made and some things that have been retained. If you look at this map, you'll see the familiar outline of the park with the river forming the northern boundary and a gate in each of the other three walls. The statue of Diane Gosforth has been moved. It used to be close to the south gate, but it's now immediately to the north of the lily pond, almost in the centre of the park, which makes it much more visible. There's a new area of wooden sculptures, which are on the riverbank, where the path from the east gate makes a sharp bend. There are two areas that are particularly intended for children. The playground has been enlarged and improved, and that's between the river and the path that leads from the pond to the river. Then there's a new maze, a circular series of paths separated by low hedges. That's near the west gate. 
you go north from there towards the river and then turn left to reach it. There have been tennis courts in the park for many years and they've been doubled from four to eight. They're still in the southwest corner of the park where there's a right angle bend in the path. Something else I'd like to mention is the new fitness area. This is right next to the lily pond on the same side as the west gate. Now, as you're all gardeners, I'm sure you'll like to hear about the plants that have been chosen for the park. Ah, because say in your main of the out there. Now that is since, the end. Since you're all gardeners, I'm sure you're going to be enjoying. That is the end of section two. Okay, were we able to get the answers for this one? Actually, I'm saying it because this is a direct depiction of how sometimes confusing maps can be. Okay, <clears throat> number 15, where is the statue of Diane Gosford? Okay, the statue of Diane Gosford is, okay, on letter E. Okay, very good. That's letter E. Okay, why? Because it says the north of the lily pond. Okay. This is north of the lily pond. Of the lily pond. Okay, what about the wooden sculptures? Where is the wooden sculptures? Okay, number 16, wooden sculptures. Going to the east gate, okay, onto the bend. That's letter C. Okay, good job. All right, the playground. Where is the playground? Okay, the playground is letter B. It's on the path of the lily. Uh, it's on the path of the lily pond towards the river. So since Diane Gosford is already taken, this is the only one, or this is the only place on the path in between the river and the lily pond. So that is letter, uh, letter B. Okay, where is the maze? Maze. Okay, the maze is. Letter A. Good job. Because it says here, you're just going to head north from the west gate, okay? Look, guys. This is the west gate, so we're going to head north, okay? And then turn left. Diba? In 200 meters, turn left. In 100 meters, my police, magtago ka na. <laughs> okay. So you're going to head north from the west gate, okay? And then, there you go. Okay. Now, <clears throat> what about tennis courts? Where are the tennis courts? Tennis courts, tennis courts is on the U bend. It's on the U bend on the southwestern part. Okay, southwest. Okay, it's on the U bend. Good job. That is letter G. Okay, and then the fitness area, the last place that was not mentioned, which is on the west of the lily pond. Where's your lily pond onto the west? It's on your left hand. That is your letter D. Okay, look at that. Eva, that listening, I, I particularly chose it because it's one of the most difficult maps, okay? This is one of the most difficult maps that you might encounter on the examination. And you guys did it. You guys made it. You were able to get the answers for this one. So the moral of the story here, guys, when it comes to our maps is that you would need to basically listen carefully to the instructions of the maps that first, okay, and put yourself inside the map so as to ensure that you guys are not going to get lost and do not be dependent with the sequence sometimes. Sometimes they, they will actually... Uh, what they call this, they will actually say things that are not on chronological order to confuse you, okay? Sabi ni Louise Marga, OMG, na perfect kumama di, hoo hoo, congrats! Diba? Sino pa mga naka-perfect dito, mga anak? Diba? Sino pa? Sino pa? Ang mga naka-perfect dito, ha? Thank you, Mama D. I learned a lot. Uy, na-perfect nila, di ba? Ang galing nyo naman. Good job, mga naka-perfect kayo. Sheesh, ang galing. Di ba? So, sa exam, tandaan nyo, madali lang yung maps, okay? Kaya nyo yung itodo. <laughs> yeah, okay. Five Mama D, medyo dahilo sa tennis court. Okay lang yan, okay? You have learned a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you guys because you have learned a lot for our discussion for tonight, okay? Next week, guys, maraming pa tayong discuss when it comes to your listening. Next week, I will be talking to you about the magic tricks that you could do for the listening, okay? Paano mo malalaman na, ah, 
sagot yan. It's automatically an answer. Okay, so next Friday, I will be live again at IFNG. Okay, so before we even um, end our discussion, do not worry. Okay, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. The, the best thing that you could have when you have faith in the Lord is that you have peace of mind. That's the most important thing on this world, guys, is that even if the world is already crumbling down, if you have faith, you have peace of mind. Okay, so let me just pray quickly for the people who have attended this live discussion for tonight. Heavenly Father, we'd like to thank you, Lord God, for another opportunity to teach the students when it comes to their IELTS preparation. And thank you, Lord God, because we were able to spread your word tonight. My Father, bless the students who are preparing for their IELTS examination. Be there for them. You know you know how much they need this examination, my Father. Lord, bless the admins of IFNG. They are helping a lot of students. They are changing a lot of lives when it comes to their IELTS preparation. And thank you, Lord God, for their help. And my Father, thank you so much for the students that you have guided towards the path of elite intellect. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, guys. So, um, by the way, if you would want to inquire to our programs at Elite Intellect, no, uh, we use Elite Notes all the time at Elite. Just message us at WhatsApp or on Facebook. Just click the link of our Facebook page right there on the chat box right now of our Zoom meeting. Or you may also message us at the link right here on the comment section, which Sir Kel Jelogael has sent you. Okay, So I'll see you in class very soon. Mga anak, huwag magpapanik sa exam. The best thing that you could do is for you to just relax. Okay? Just don't think about it, okay? Just don't think about it. And I am so glad that you guys were able to. Thank you so much. I learned a lot. Oh, you're welcome, guys. I'm so happy that you guys were able to learn a lot with our discussion for tonight, okay? So I'll see you in class next Friday, 9 p.m. here at IFNG again. So before I return our discussion to our admins or Jeff, in behalf of the staff of Elite Intellect 9 IELTS, OET and Clex with MCCBTH Philippines. This is your Mama Dragon sending my love to you for the Philippines. I'll see you in class next week, 9 p.m. PhD here at IFNG, and I'll see you in class for the new babies of Elite Intellect 9. Bye, guys. I love you all. Sir Jeff, back to you. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back. So, yeah, thanks to all um, for those who attended, and I hope you learned something. So, if you want to, um, to have this service from Elite 9, Point zero. I'm um, just contact them direct on Facebook. So if you're not yet a member of IFNG, just like our page and send us direct message. So you can receive this um, elite handouts. Okay. Have a good night, everyone. Bye. Bye, Sir Jeff. <laughs>